what is dashboard dashboard is basically a graphical representation of your report report is basically the data your object can hold millions of records and your business don't want to see all these millions of records you as an admin can create a report put proper filters so that the report can fetch only the needed data and let's say you have 10 reports and your business said hey admin i need a dashboard and the dashboard should have 10 different components like horizontal bar chart vertical bar chart and so and so the dashboard should have 10 different components and each component should represents one report suppose there are 10 reports you created on top of opportunity like this month revenue report next month revenue report it based on the close date this month next month you have created 10 reports suppose reports which is where amount is greater than thousand right you have created many reports and there'll be one dashboard which will include all the reports so if i as a business user open the dashboard i will get to see the data of all 10 different reports so one single dashboard will give me an idea of 10 different reports okay so definition of dashboard is what it's a graphical representation of report is called dashboard it's the same thing whatever the chart that we had added in the report we have learned right how to add the charts same chart will represent the reports in the dashboard dashboard is actually you can create from the lightning or from the classic i'm going to show you both of this just to make sure you get familiar with both this and you can pick up one of this right there's no harm you can go and create the dashboard from classic and you, your user can view it in lightning but there's a problem here in the dashboard okay remember this any dashboard that you create in the lightning view i'm there in the lightning view right let me create a new dashboard and let me give the name of the dashboard as let's say uh, lightning opportunity dashboard see now this dashboard i have created i i have to create again separate folders for dashboard you can't keep the dashboard in the report folder by the way the report folders are different that you have to create dashboard folders are different that you have to create okay so select the folders and i can add a new folder here directly okay so let me just create a folder called opp dashboard okay and that's the folder which i'm creating and i'm gonna store all my dashboard that i'm gonna create into the same folder and then is the same story okay whatever we have learned like how to um, give access of your report to the different users or roles or public groups right same way you create dashboard hold it in a separate folder and share that folder with the different users same story okay so you as an admin will create the dashboard hold it in a proper folder and share the folder with the necessary user okay so click on create button now this is what i wanted to uh, show you this in lightning let's create a new dashboard in lightning and i'm going to create the same dashboard in classic i'll show you how it works this is how the dashboard builder page looks like i have created a dashboard named lightning opp dashboard dashboard is basically the graphical representation of your reports so you must have reports created in order to create a dashboard okay so i have created the reports let me just quickly open the report that i had created already so if i go to report tab i have i think two reports created on opportunity object opp report so i'm going to use this particular report check this out this report i'm going to use in the dashboard okay uh, this report how do i use it i have to first get a component click on the component and select here which report that you want to um, put it in the dashboard i have only two reports by the way right i'm just going to select this opp report okay select this report click on this okay and click on this select button now i have selected the report that i would be displaying in a particular dashboard but this is the problem i have this many components please see this okay i have 
these many components in the dashboard like horizontal bar chart vertical bar chart pie chart line chart and so and so but this is called table uh, chart okay but i can only view this in table i can't view the dash uh, the report in any of the chart can you tell me the reason why i am not able to see this let me show you the report and tell me why i am not able to create a dashboard with like all the different charts uh, with the same report what is the reason the reason is this report has not been grouped by remember what we discussed in the report section dashboard or if you add a chart see here you cannot add a chart why because this report has not been grouped by uh, any chart or any dashboard is basically x and y axis y axis will always have your uh, grouped by field and x axis will have the count right so because this is a table report this is a tabular report no group by that's the reason why i can't add any chart in the report neither i can add this report in the dashboard so i'm going to quickly edit this report and add a group by okay so i'll group by this with stage now this report has been grouped by let's save this report and i'll go back to the dashboard i'll quickly refresh it and uh, this is my dashboard right so i'm going to click on the component i'm going to select the same opp report now this report has been grouped by if i select see now i can add these charts you got the reason so this is a question that sometimes comes in the certifications can we add a report into a dashboard if the report is not grouped by yes you can add because there is a component called table this is a table component which will actually uh, fetch the same report and show you in the dashboard you'll not get any dashboard flavor i mean no uh, no no pie chart bar chart and the uh, other different charts just the report you can show directly in the dashboard but if you want to get the flavor of dashboard you must have uh, at least one group by field in the reports okay so this is how i have created my first dashboard and uh, click on add that's the dashboard okay this is how the dashboard looks like okay now i can add one more component and uh, this is another report i created right opp report in classic select this add a chart to this joint report in order to use it as a source report in the component see this is basically a joint report okay if you remember this uh, report that we had created in the report section this was a joint report so salesforce is telling if you want to create a dashboard with this particular report then you must add a chart in that report itself and then you can use the same chart in the dashboard got it so i'm gonna go to this component and i don't have any other report so this is how you create the dashboard click on the component select the report that you want to uh, put it in the dashboard and dashboard is is same as your chart okay so in the same dashboard you can include multiple reports in the same dashboard you can include multiple reports so let me save this dashboard now the dashboard has been saved i can either delete the dashboard or i can save as and create a new one let's explore the uh, settings part okay see in the settings right i have three options this is very important okay this is the options that uh, you get a questions in the certifications and sometimes if you go for an interview you get these questions a lot okay as an admin you have to know what is this view dashboard as okay view dashboard as is basically let me give an example sometime what happen understand this example okay then only you will be able to understand this view dashboard as this is very important and that's just a concept okay you need to know which radio button does what so let's say the requirement is you as an admin have created one dashboard and you know right a report and dashboard will actually show the data based on the logged in user you might create a report which is like you know show me all the opportunity group by stage now let's say alex is viewing the report or the dashboard where the report has been used alex will be able to see the data that he has access to let's say john is actually viewing the report 
or the dashboard which where the report has been used john will be able to see the data where john has access to you getting me so basically the logged in user whatever data that he has access to this report and dashboard will respect that and it will show you that data based on the filter that you select now if you select the view dashboard as me me means rajesh strategy the logged in user what will happen then let's say john is logging into salesforce system and trying to view the same dashboard john let's say don't have access to the report data still john will be able to see the dashboard data why because the dashboard is viewed as me me means the rajesh strategy the logged in user are you getting me one more time let me repeat this rajesh has access to the report data rajesh has access to the opportunity data john doesn't have access now if you create a dashboard view as me me means rajesh strategy right then anybody who logs into the system try to open the dashboard will be able to see the dashboard data even though they don't have access to the data why because the dashboard is getting viewed as me okay for an example let's say there's an hr there is a person named alex he is the hr suppose and being an hr alex has um view access to a custom object called leaves or holiday you getting me only alex in the entire organization has access to the holiday object no one else now admin has created a dashboard suppose a report and a dashboard which shows what are the upcoming holidays business said every single user should be able to access that on dashboard all my users should be able to see the holiday dashboard but the problem is this no one has access to the holiday data how can you see the dashboard you will not be able to who has access alex the hr has access to the data no one else now if this is the scenario if you as an admin have to showcase a dashboard to multiple user and those user don't have access to the data how can you showcase the data you can actually view the dashboard as alex so you can show the same dashboard which has been created to show so all the user will be able to view the dashboard even though they don't have access to the dashboard data or the report data why because they were they were viewing the dashboard as alex and alex has access to the data okay so this is like this is called static dashboard you might get this questions a lot right what is static and dynamic dashboard static dashboard means you as an admin are making the dashboard viewing as somebody so that anybody who logs into the system and try to view the dashboard will be able to see the dashboard as that somebody person right so this is where static dashboard is helpful but there would be a scenario where the business need the logged in user to view the dashboard based on the access that they have if the logged in user has access to the report dashboard data they will be able to see the dashboard if they don't have access to the dashboard data they will see insufficient privilege you know what i mean the logged in user will be logging into the system and see the dashboard and will be able to view the dashboard if they have access to the dashboard data right if that is the case that's called dynamic dashboard okay and in this case you have to make the view dashboard as the dashboard viewer the dashboard viewer means the logged in user if they have access can see the dashboard data don't have access insufficient privilege makes sense this is called dynamic based on the logged in user the dashboard will be visible i hope these three options are pretty much clear let's understand the last option this is the one let dashboard viewer choose whom they view the dashboard as which means let's say i am a manager this is this is something that you are understand you have to understand with a business example right and this is an example that i'm giving you uh, from my previous project in my previous project there was a manager manager said that you as an admin create couple of report for my executives my executive should come in the morning and check how many cases that i have to solve today how many cases that i have solved yesterday how many cases i'll be solving tomorrow all these things and create a dashboard 
and what my i want as a manager i want a dashboard but let's say i have a executive named alex john and rajesh and the manager will go and type the name alex then the manager will be able to view the dashboard as alex you get it so the manager wanted to see how many cases that is is open uh, today for john how many cases john has solved yesterday how many cases that john has to solve tomorrow so if the manager put john's name the manager will be able to see all the dashboard of john you get it so this is where you have to select the last option let the dashboard viewer choose whom they view the dashboard as now i as a manager can choose i want to view the dashboard as alex as john as xyz person same dashboard i as a manager will be able to view as different different users so i don't have to open like multiple one for john one for uh, alex i don't have to open multiple dashboard is the same dashboard and i can go and view the dashboard as alex as john so that i can get to see okay alex has to go you know work on these cases john has to work on these cases you got it so these four check boxes and the radio button are very very important as a as a admin creating a dashboard is very easy right you just have to go and click on component drag and drop the report and that's it but giving an access of the dashboard and the report is a big deal right is and and guess what the dashboard and the report contains very sensitive data you should not be uh, you know giving access of a report and dashboard by mistake to somebody who should not have access to that's a big escalation right so anyway we do all this um, dashboard creation testing in a developer or something called sandbox which we will be discussing in future session what is sandbox and how to do it we do the development and uh, the testing in the sandbox and we deploy it in the production so before your dashboard and a report goes to production it runs through multiple testings your your qa tested and your user tested and then it goes to production so there's no a uh, chance of error but still uh, by mistake if you you know give access of a particular dashboard or report to somebody you should not have access to in the production that's a big mess so make sure you are pretty much clear with these options lightning dashboard has few more options like you can actually show 12 column or 9 columns right if you see here like 12 column 12 dashboard you can show like one by one side by side and you can choose the dashboard theme as well i like the dark one you can also give a try with the dark one and you have this many palettes right so lightning has all this luxury and classic doesn't have so based on the um user requirement you just have to select all these options and just click on save see this is how the dashboard looks like in the dark theme right click on save and done and let's go and view the dashboard okay so if i go to the dashboards this is the dashboard that i just now have created in the lightning and the dashboard looks like this couple of feature that we get to see in the dashboard is you can actually download this image you see this button you can download this image and if the business want you can they can share the image with somebody over an email that's the cool thing you get to see in the lightning dashboard so you can download the entire dashboard or maybe a specific component you can uh, download i have created only one component with one report you can have multiple components representing different different reports in same dashboard another important thing is dashboard is something you as a viewer have to refresh to see the updated dashboard data and you cannot refresh this dashboard more than once in a minute so you have to make sure that you tell your customer to you know refresh the dashboard to see the updated data all right so this is the dashboard and this is how we have to create a dashboard in um, lightning i'm gonna go and show you how to create a dashboard in classic in the next video see you in the next video